We are going to build an entire summer wardrobe from scratch. I'm gonna help you guys build something that stands the test of time, but also stands the blazing hot heat. Wait, now making that statement's got me thinking, if only my entire wardrobe were summer essentials, maybe it would've survived. I digress before I start crying. <laughs> So let's start building this timeless summer wardrobe with the easiest item to wear, which is the undershirt slash tank top. Now, there are two styles that you should get, the Hanes Beat Your Wife starter pack and the Abercrombie Potentially See Your Nib Tank. The Hanes is going to be your perfect undershirt from when you're wearing a camp collared shirt or you're wearing your linen shirt. It's thin, it's lightweight. FYI, you will need to size up times three or you're gonna end up amputating your body because these boys come tight. And the second one, the Abercrombie Tank, this is just going to be perfect when you just want to wear a tank alone. It's somewhat presentable. You're not gonna look like a complete douchebag. Moving on to our next basic, we have the everyday t-shirt. So go to Uniqlo, buy one in every single neutral colorway and you're pretty much done. Style wise and fit wise, it doesn't matter if you like oversized or if you like slim fit, just buy whichever one you like. Moving on to an item that if it were to be called an action, it would be called sex. Because you look like a sexy mother when you're wearing this thing. And that is the linen shirt. I have yet to see a guy that can't wear a linen shirt. Every guy can put on a linen shirt and look 10 times better. Trust me, you're gonna have more phone numbers in your phone than you ever have in your entire life. Now we have the linen shirt's little brother, which is the camp collar short sleeve shirt. And depending on the material you guys choose, you can get different looks. Of course, you got your linen one, which I suggest should be your first one that you buy. Your next one could be a polyester one. And this one gives you a really flowy and wavy look. And then you've got the cotton knit one, like the one that I'm wearing right now. This one is just perfect perfect all around because of that texture. It just looks so freaking good. Next up, we really have an add-on to the camp color shirt because essentially it's the same thing and that is the bowling shirt. And this is not an essential by any means, but it's fun, it's unique, it's vintage. It's provocative. No, it's not. It's it gets gross. the people going. It just looks cool. So if you want to be a little bit more fun, you can throw one of these into your list. Moving on to my beloved sweater polo. Literally get one that's ribbed, get one that's patterned, get one that's crocheted in it, get whatever one your heart desires because sweater polos always look good. You cannot go wrong with a sweater polo. Next, we have an interesting one that not a lot of people know about, and that is a long sleeve polo that is made from linen. Now, this is something that I've only recently found, and I bought it from Abercrombie. I'm sure there's other places you can buy it from, so if you know, drop it in the comment section below. Low. But this is your very classy, more elegant shirt that you can wear on a nice summer evening or on a hot spring day. Now, moving on to the lower half of your body, you have linen pants, and these are just gonna go so well with any of those items that we just mentioned. And if you're like me and you absolutely hate shorts, the linen pants are gonna be an absolute essential for you. Buy one that's black, buy one in white, buy one in beige, and I suggest that you get one that comes with side adjusters so that you have one that is formal that you can dress up, and then one with a drawstring so you can wear that one to the beach. Now, as much as I don't like shorts, there's some days where it's absolutely necessary. So you're gonna need a few pairs of shorts. I would suggest you get a linen one, of course, because that's what we've been talking about the whole time. It's gonna look great with all of those other items that we've mentioned. You also could get sweat shorts if that's your jam, or you could go for a cotton one, like these white ones that would look a little bit more formal. So you can wear these to a brunch or a dinner. And of course you need some board shorts. So if you decide you want to just send a backflip into the ocean, you can do so. And you're not gonna look stupid like you would if you did that in your sweat shorts. <laughs> Next up, we have the summer footwear section. And of course you'll need some white leather sneakers. But listen to me when I say this, guys. Buy something that is actually high quality. I'm not talking Air Force Ones or New Balance 550s. I'm saying buy yourself a pair of Axel Rigatos, Oliver Cabells, or Common Projects if you're really balling out. You're gonna go through so many pairs of the Air Force Ones that's gonna end up being way more than a few hundred dollars for a white leather sneaker that's gonna last you years. So please, for your own sake, buy something that's high quality. It's something I wish I knew from the beginning. Now, you're gonna also need some formal summer footwear because you can't always wear sneakers all the time. And I think the perfect shoe for this would be the suede loafer. Now, the suede loafer is gonna instantly make your outfit look more elevated. It's gonna make you look more affluent. It's gonna make you look more sophisticated. You don't have to buy yours from Laura Piana, FYI. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars to get these shoes. I bought mine from Suit Supply. It's made with Italian calf suede and mine were just under $400 Canadian. I understand that it might be expensive for some, which is why I also bought one from Massimo Duty in this light gray colorway. It was $169 Canadian. So it shares the exact same look, not quite made with the same materials, but it still looks good. So if you guys want a cheaper option, there you go. But the suit supply ones are the ones that I wear on a daily basis. Next, of course, you got your open toe footwear, your sandals, which it seems like a lot of you guys don't like, but in reality, it looks a lot more ridiculous when you're wearing your Air Force Ones in the sand, bro. You got plenty of options when it comes to sandals, Birkenstocks, leather sandals, slides. The world is your oyster. Just avoid flip flops if you don't want to look like your dad. And moving on to our accessories, we have summer jewelry. And when I'd say classifies as summer jewelry, it's just 
things that reminds you of the summer, things that remind you of the ocean. That would be something like a pearl necklace. Maybe you're not into pearl necklaces, you think that's too feminine. You could go for an anchor. Obviously an anchor would remind you of boats or turquoise jewelry, which is blue that reminds you of the ocean. You guys get the idea, things of that nature. Next we have sunglasses. And of course you're going to need a black pair. This is gonna be your most versatile pair. Your next one could be a turquoise shell one. If you wanna look like a smart ass, I like to wear these ones a lot. <laughs> or you could go for a clear frame one, which I think look really cool in the summertime. Lastly, you will need a good summer fragrance. You want something that's fresh, something that's light, maybe contains a bit of citrus. Some good examples of a good summer fragrance would be like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, Nautical Blue, Aqua di Gio Profondo, Paco Rabanne Invictus, and Tom Ford Costa Azura. So guys, if you're interested in more videos where I'm building wardrobe from scratch, please subscribe if you haven't already because you don't want to miss this. I'm going to be doing them for every single season.